What's going on today, guys? So last time I was working on the olds and I've pretty much run out of things to do since I don't have any more parts and uh, it runs, it drives, doesn't stop. So this winter I'm gonna be buying brakes and things like that. So I'm gonna put that on hold and we're gonna go back to the Hemi that I'm building. Um, yesterday I went and painted them. I know they're aluminum heads, but I painted them anyways to make them look good. And today we are going to try and lap all the valves and then install my valve spring kit that I got from Comp Cams. Um, this is the part number, 7230CC kit. It's for uh, cams up to 660 lift, of which I got this cam here from Comp as well. It's the HRT Stage 3. I will soon be installing that, but for today we're going to be focusing on the heads. So I will set you guys up and uh, start lapping these valves. All right, so I got one head done, all the intake, well, not one head done, I got the intake side of one head done. When you're done, you should see a uniform rim around both the valve and the seat. And also you'll hear there is a pitch change whenever you uh, get the grit to a certain grit, I should say. Um, I'm gonna blast through the rest of these and then I might show you guys the process on the other head on like one of the valves. All right, I forgot to show you guys actually how to lap these things, but it's pretty simple. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. Um, all the all the valves are lapped now. Basically, like I said, you're looking for an even ring on both the valve and the seat. It's a little late here tonight, so we are gonna pack it up, but hopefully tomorrow I'll be back out and then we can install the uh, valve spring kit. So I will see you guys then. So it is a new day. 
I am back at the shop working on the Hemi heads. Today I'm going to be installing the uh, the valve springs. Again, like I said, this is the, the kit that I got, the 7230. That's for the Eagle heads with the can that has, that can go up to 660 lift. Mine is not at 660 lift, but it's 630. So I went up to that one. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I've got this tool. I think I bought it from Amazon for like 40 bucks. It's not ideal. The best case scenario would be a pneumatic one that they make of this. Or if you have the heads on your car, obviously you pump air into the cylinders and then they make a special tool to actually sit between the two, um, the shaft, the rocker shaft um, armatures right here to actually compress the spring. But because I've got the heads off, I'm gonna be using this tool. Um, yeah, basically I'm gonna be installing the seat first, or not the seat, the, uh, the seal first. Um, and then according to the instructions that were sent with this kit, um, for the 5.7 Eagle heads with this kit, there are no spring shims that are needed, just the spring locators, which is this guy here, the 4678-16, sorry, it's not focusing. Um, so I will be installing the seals, then we'll be putting the spring seats on, put the springs on, and then obviously you got your retainers here. And then your keepers here and uh, yeah it's pretty self-explanatory I will uh, try my best to show how this goes but uh, I'm a one-man show so it might not go well so the uh, the valve seal it should fit over your valve and then it'll it's a press fit onto this little lip here I might actually Try and install it without the valve in there. Hopefully they don't damage it. Let's see. This is not the easiest one to do. I might. I'm gonna try and use a half inch socket. It fits around the spring, it doesn't want to damage. And press it down. I think that that is fully seated. There we go. The benefit of this also is that it kind of keeps the, the valve from just drifting down. Obviously it's not gonna hold it there, but it's gonna be better than not having any, anything there. Um, and then obviously for your your spring seat, there's a lip here. That's what your, that's gonna face out towards the spring. You've got a chamfer here. So that's gonna sit like, like that. Then you get your spring. All right, so with Sam's help, I was finally able to install one spring. Only took about half an hour. We only got 15 more to go. 
So uh, I'll just uh, set you guys up and uh, just watch us struggle through this. So it is a new day. In the last videos, you saw Sam and I struggle to get uh, one head put together with all the springs. Um, while we did that, we went on to the next head and it actually looked like there was some damage to it. So I ended up not wasting my time and putting the valve springs on that one. And we just sent them off to a machine shop to get both heads decked and all the springs and valves installed. So. Um, honestly, with this spring pressure here, my tools are not great for it, and uh, it's definitely not a one-person job for the tools that I had. So I would recommend, if you are going to be installing these uh, valve springs with uh, that high of a spring pressure, that you just have a professional do it. It definitely would save you a bunch of time and a lot of headache. So um, I just wanted to give you guys the update that the heads are now put together. In the next upcoming few weeks, I plan to um, install the cam and the uh, the lifters into the block. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting from uh, Cometic to get the head gaskets, so I can't install the heads. But once I do, I will definitely get a video of that. Um, so I guess I'm going to end it here. Uh, if you did like the video, please like the video and consider subscribing. Thanks, guys.